Hey guys, and welcome back to CanCode. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a life bar for your player, and we're going to add a score when you kill enemies. Alright, so let's get started. Let's start with the score because it should be pretty easy. What we're going to do is we're going to start by creating a variable, and this variable is going to be for all sprites, and it's going to be called your score. Or we're going to call it cash because it's going to be the money that you get when you uh, kill enemies. So let's just call that cash, and then we're going to get cash when we kill enemies. So at the start, we're going to set the cash to zero because we're not going to have any money, but then we're going to be able to get money when we kill enemies. So um, if you kill a normal enemy, because this is the uh, normal one, before we delete this clone, we're going to change the cash by one. We'll get one point for every normal guy that we kill. Now for a, um, let's see, this is a, this is normal, and then down here we've got fast, so for the fast guys we'll get two, we'll say, so we'll change the cache by two. Make sure that you do not do set the cache, because it's just going to bring it from whatever amount of money you have to that value, instead of adding on to the value that you already have. So now finally for the strong ones, we're going to change the cache by three when we kill a strong guy. So now when we play this, we've got our menu that we have before, and now we can kill them, and we get one and two for every of those little ones, and we're just getting cash as we kill them. Now we can just go on like this forever, or we could be able to die if the enemies touch us, which is the next thing we're going to be going over, which is uh, life bar. So let's do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by making a life bar sprite. So we're going to call this... Uh, life bar and we're just gonna make it so how do we do this well I'm gonna give my player uh, let's say eight lives so we're gonna make a bar and you can make give it your player however many lives you want but I'll show you how to give them more or less so I'm gonna just make the life bar green um, 30 for the color 100 for the saturation and the brightness will be 90 and we'll just make a rectangle that's a pretty good life bar and then I'm gonna duplicate this and we're going to make some of it red now actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this already existent life bar add it on top and make it red and then I'm going to bring it to however I want so uh, we could have it full for dead this is like halfway, so about like that. Actually, we can use these uh, little squares in the background to figure this out. So how many do we have? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, about 15. Um, so if we do 15, 15 divided by 8 is about 2. So I'm kind of right about this one. The next one will have about... Four, like that, and then the next one will have about six, and the next one will have go right in the middle, so like that, and then we'll just continue on. That, six, seven, eight like that and then the final one will just be if you are dead so like that in fact we can actually delete this life bar and just change the background one to uh, red okay now let's change these to the amount of lives so we'll say eight lives and then we'll just change all of them one life and then we will just call this one dead. All right, so now what we wanna do is we wanna make this life bar actually work as an actual life bar. So we're gonna to go to events and we're gonna say when I receive play, because remember that's what we're doing now, we're not doing when this flag is clicked. And we're gonna make it go above the player. So we're gonna start by making it go to the player. Um, like that, boom. But then we want it to go above the player. So we're gonna change the Y by 10, 20, 
35 maybe. 35 seems pretty good. So now, when this happens, it just goes right to the player. Now if I start this, we click this, it goes right there. So we want this to be happening forever. So now when we play, we have a life bar that's always right here. Now we want the life bar to kind of go above things. I kind of like that, how it's like going above some of the um, players, but we don't want it to go above this background screen here. This one's going to go to the very front, um, except not the very, very front because the button's going to go to the very, very front. Okay. Now we're going to go to the life bar again, and we want to make lives. So we're just going to make one called lives. Uh, well, will call player lives for all sprites. And the player lives is just going to be the amount of lives you have. So at the beginning, we're going to set the player lives to 8. Because we want them to have 8 lives. And then, uh, when you go down, then you lose lives. So, um, we're going to have it always going to the player. But, however many lives you have, that is uh, the costume number. So if you have 8 lives, you're going to go to the costume number 8. Uh, or, or 9, I guess. So... Actually, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to switch these. I'm really sorry about this, but we're going to have to switch all of these. Um, the full lives ones are going to go at the bottom, and the empty ones are going to go at the top. Okay, now I have all these ones done, and we're going to go to... Uh, we're going to switch the costume to whatever the player lives is, but remember, if they have eight lives... We want it to go to 9. So we're going to add 1. And what this is going to do... So player life plus 1. So it's going to go to... At 8 lives, it's going to go here. 7 lives, 6 lives, 5 lives, 4 lives, 3 lives, 2 lives, 1 life. And then when we have 0, we're going to be going here. So uh, that should work. Okay. Now, let's just see what happens. So we're starting off with a full life bar. And now if we touch the enemies, we don't lose lives because we've not programmed that in yet. So let's program that into the player. So when the player touches, we're going to add this after all this code stuff here. If the player touches an enemy, then we're going to lose a life. So uh, we, we can just say change the oops, player lives by minus one but the problem with this is that as we're playing when we touch an enemy we're just going to lose all of our lives like that which isn't really what we want to happen we want it to go a little bit slower i guess so how do we fix that well, what we're going to do is we're actually going to put this in a separate forever loop. And the reason why we're going to put uh, when I receive play and then forever in a separate one. Because um, we're going to have, once we change the player lives by minus one, we're going to wait until, or we won't wait until, we'll wait like two seconds before we can um, get touched by another enemy. So... Have to, boom, we're touching enemy, and it goes down a lot slower at this point. No, maybe we'll change this to one second, because two kind of seems a little bit long. So if we're just always touching it, then we lose it like that. Since our lives are eight, touch an enemy, seven, six, and then we're still alive, five, four, three, two, one, and I'm still alive, I'm still alive dead okay now when we die it still goes so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the life bar and we're gonna say in this forever loop if um, lives get less than one player lives get less than one um, which if that happens then we're gonna be at zero then we're gonna broadcast a message that will say 
end game. Now, when we work on this more, we're gonna have when you die, it's just gonna go back to the menu, and you get to keep some of your cash or whatever. Uh, we can we can do whatever we want, but um, in this particular instance, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just go to the stage here, and I'm gonna say when I receive end game, then we're just gonna stop the game for now. That's what we'll have. So when we lose our lives. Five lives, four lives, three lives, two lives, one life, and dead. Okay, so you can see the game just stopped when we're done, and that's what we want for now. Okay, now here's a little bit of things that we can do to make this a little bit neater. We have our player lives, but we also have a life bar, so we don't need this um, variable here showing. So we can just uncheck the player lives. And now the cache is useful to see for now. Later we'll put some better digits on so it doesn't look like a variable. But for now, what we can do is we can just right click this and click large readout. And it will just show a big large readout of uh, what the score is. So we can just get points by that. Now, that's all for this video. In the next video, we'll add some more cool features to this game. But so far, this game is looking pretty good. I mean, we're getting a lot done. So, that's it for this video. I'll see you next time. If you appreciate all the work that I've put into these videos, then remember to subscribe.